Greetings everybody, I'm Robert Wayne Scott and today I'm going to talk a little bit about tone chasing. And you might be asking yourself already, since this is a video about how to achieve um, Tony Iommi's uh, signature sound, well what do you mean by tone chasing? And that's just the word I give uh, to um, being somewhat um, unrelenting and or hysterical in my quest uh, to be able to, you know, kind of wield the same tone that some of my guitar heroes did. Um, I didn't pick up the guitar uh, because I heard someone play some some notes I like, and I said, you know what, that that harmonic minor, that that really moves me. Well, what moved me was growing up in the 70s and hearing guitarists like uh, Tony Iommi, who had a very unique sound. Um, Brian May, of course, had a very unique sound. And, and, and then these were guys that, you know, put some serious effort into their tone. Uh, quite frankly, there is nobody else that sounds like Brian May. Um, as far as Tony Iommi goes, you know, he really is uh, the, the godfather of metal. And what, what sort of propelled him to that, in my opinion, is uh, the tone that he has. Now I should start out by saying that I don't I don't play Black Sabbath. I really don't play anybody else's music. It, it's never it was never something I could wrap my mind around. But I always liked his tone, and um, I recently went on a quest to see if I can um, mimic it. And of course the quest started with YouTube. And when you go on YouTube, and there's a lot of videos how to sound like this guy or that guy, and a lot of it's just completely insane. If you want to sound like my buddy Tony, then you got to start with some orange pants and some green shoes. No! That out of the way, how can you sound like Tony Iommi? Well, instead of thinking of it in terms of, in terms of guitars and amps and pickups and strings and uh, the humidity and everything else, I don't know, let's think of it like a like a turkey sandwich. Suppose Tony Iommi was just famous for making really delicious turkey sandwiches for some reason. And, and, and we wanted to make turkey sandwiches just like Tony Iommi. Well, what would we do? Well, if Tony Iommi uses sourdough bread, we'd probably have to use sourdough bread. We couldn't get away with rye or... Um, you know, white bread buns or something like that, or hot dog buns. If he uses sourdough bread of a certain thickness and we want to have a turkey sandwich that's just like Tony's, we, we'd have to go out and get the same bread. That's true for, for the meat as well. If, if Tony's making a, you know, a smoked turkey sandwich, yes, we can put ham in the sandwich, sandwich and um, yes, that is a, a meat, it is a protein. We can put that in the sandwich, but it's not a it's not a turkey sandwich anymore. Uh, that that holds true with all of the ingredients. And having chased uh, Tony Iommi's sound now, uh, I just came to the conclusion that the only way to to sound like Tony Iommi is to go out and, to the best of your ability, get the equipment that he played on. And for, for starters, I am holding a 1962 uh, Gibson Les Paul. Uh, they were still called Les Pauls at this time. Uh, these are, to the best of my um, understanding, uh, unpotted uh, PAF pickups uh, that are in this guitar. Tony Iommi used uh, in uh, the early days he used both a, a 62 SG and a 65 SG um, I just happen to have the uh, a 62 SG originally this had a, a very strange tremolo uh, still have those parts but um, for the time being it just has the uh, sort of an add-on a, a tailpiece the the stock uh, tremolo that comes with these. If you want to do some interesting reading, look those up and see how difficult they were to use. You you can't even look at them 
uh, without the guitar going out of tune. So uh, most of the players uh, took that off. This was taken off uh, decades ago. But like I said, I still have the original. Uh, it's just not currently on the guitar. So uh, to start our Tony Iommi sandwich, we have a 1962 um, Gibson Les Paul SG uh, to begin with. And just like with the, with the sandwich I was talking about, you're not going to get that particular tone unless you've got, unless you start with an instrument uh, either identical or similar to what Tony would have played at that time. <laughs> Tony Iommi's history, most of it was with Laney amps. Uh, and from what I've read, that seemed to be somewhat of a, of a, I don't know, just happy accident. Tony Iommi's from Birmingham. Laney amps is produced in Birmingham. They began um, giving him equipment um, in the very, very early 70s, uh, like 1970, and, and he's continued using that for most of, of, of his career. There, there were a few times uh, a song or two, and, I, and, I, and the only reason I mention it is I'll, what, what comments I will get, someone will say, but, 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 on this particular song, on this particular album, he used a Vox. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that, but for the majority of his career, he's used um, Laney apps. And to, to capture his sound, I'm using the Tony Iommi GH100TI signature amp. And this is a, an amp uh, he's been using since 1993 um, up until currently. So Tony Iommi's using smoked turkey. I'm going to use smoked turkey. I'm just going to use his amp. I could try to look at, at other amps to see if I can capture what he's doing. But why? It seems to be uh, almost fruitless. And the final thing that that I need uh, to sort of pull off a Tony Iommi sound is I'm going to need a Range Master treble booster and a modded one. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. But I built one of those. I built a a Range Master treble booster so as to um, mimic his sound. His sound was pretty much a Gibson SG. A, a range master treble booster a modded one into a laney amp and that and that's what i have today i'm, I'm not going to try to uh, or attempt to get a sound with you know some pickup i mean i'm sorry not a well tony iomi does have signature uh pickups come to think of it and he has a signature guitar um but i'm of the opinion that his uh, modern day signature epiphone guitar isn't going to have the the tone or bite that I'm looking for that uh, this uh, 62 SG is going to have, or Les Paul, depending. So all of this is a bit tongue in cheek, but um, yeah, to get Tony Iommi sound, I had to get the guitar, I had to build the um, oh guitar pedal. And uh, I had to get uh, his signature amp. And, and once I put all those together, you know, what come out or what came out really just kind of blew my mind. And, and it was so much easier than thinking I could cheat my way there with, um, you know, with equipment that's just not authentic. So to sum it all up, at the end of the day, if, if you want to wield Tony Iommi's guitar, you're going to have to have, um, you know, the equipment that Tony Iommi played on, basically, to pull it off. Now, that doesn't mean you don't get to have your own 
your own tone or, 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 or be the guy that inspires someone else to pick up the guitar with, with such amazing tone. Um, but, but, but playing on this rig has really uh, taught me a lot and it also, I gotta say, changes um, how you play. When you, when you don't have potted pickups, uh, you know, feedback becomes um, uh, a new thing you get to, uh, to deal with. Um, I'm not used to playing on such a, uh, a light, spanky guitar. Um, and I went with lighter strings, just like uh, Tony does. It's, um, it's changed the way I have to pick. Uh, definitely lost a lot of speed in switching to the lighter strings, but I think it's something I can overcome. So uh, thank you for, for listening, and, and, and now we know how to get Tony Iommi's guitar sound. Mm -hmm.